Hey guys, I just wanted to come on live and see what you all were up to. I don't have anything in particular to say. I just wanted to check on you guys. I know that this has been a very tough time for a lot of people and I wanted to jump on and speak about a couple of things that I've received in my inbox. So I had someone, hi Sonoma, I had someone reach out to me and they were suffering, well they are already suffering with anxiety and depression. And I know that this is super duper tough for people that are already suffering with anxiety and depression. And if you have, if you have someone in your family that you know is suffering, please reach out to them. I know that you probably say, well, I don't necessarily want to hear it. Um, I'm already upset as well. But this is the time that we need to come together as a family, as a people, as a nation. Hi, everybody. You guys are so wonderful for jumping on. But I want to get this message out to you. Thank you. And I want for you to be mindful that there may have been a time in your past or there may be a time in the future that you're going to need someone, that you're going to just want someone to listen. And it's okay to be that person. This is the time where the heroes, the unsung heroes, really stand out. The people that were not looked upon as heroes in our nation, and I've said this for a very long time, the people that we take for granted, our mail carriers, our nurses, because they're the ones that come in at two o'clock in the morning and wake us. Our garbage people. Has anyone even thought about that? Because I bet you if they stop taking all of that trash that we put out on our Thursdays or our Wednesdays, we'd start to take notice. We need to be more mindful and be more grateful of every single thing around us. I know for a long time in my life, I took a lot of things for granted. So I'm not coming on here to preach to you or act like I'm better than you because God knows I'm not. What I am trying to be is as transparent as I possibly can. And what I mean by that is saying that I'm not perfect. I never have been and I never will be. But what I do know is that I'm always learning to be better. And as I do that, I'm better the next day than I was the day before. If we don't keep our mind open, if we don't keep our mind available for change, we are destined to fail. Now, I wanna go back to the person that reached out to me. They were dealing with a depressive episode and I wanted to make sure that first of all, have you reached out to your medical provider? Because even though I'm a social worker and I do confidence in life coaching, I want to make sure that you reach out to the medical professionals that are higher than me, credential wise, and make sure that you're okay. Also, make sure that if you are on any type of medication, make sure that you are maintaining continuity of care. And what that means is that you don't stop taking it. Now, sometimes we feel like, yes, we don't have to take it because we're feeling better, but don't feel that way because that could have you relapse into a place that you don't want to be. 
you want to maintain borderline okay so I want to make sure that you are being mindful of your mental health also let's think about things that we could be doing get a book well you might say you know what I don't feel like reading have you ever considered audiobooks let it play in the background still listen there may be something in it that you can take with you that will make you feel better go outside walk make sure you protect yourself I don't care if there's nobody around protect yourself protect the other person Find something ridiculously funny on TV to make you laugh. And I mean so hard that snot comes out your nose. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. As long as you laugh, that's all that matters. Now, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that no one should make you feel like you're being judged for the way you feel everybody is not equipped to be in a situation like this and that's okay but i don't want you to isolate and not reach out you can always call your doctor you can always speak with a crisis line so I just want to make sure that you understand that. Now I'm going to move on to my, my confident mindset group. So what's a confident mindset? Does it mean, okay, we're going to get ready and we're going to be so arrogant and nobody's going to be able to tell us what to do and hey, you can't tell me nothing because I already know. Well, maybe you do. Hey girl. You're beautiful too. Um, maybe you do. But wouldn't it be so awesome if you knew a little more? What's it gonna hurt? It never hurt me. I love knowing more. The more I know, the more I can share. Y'all excuse me, let me get some tissue. Don't go nowhere. Thank you, baby. See, she is, uh, and I'm talking about Jalita, and I will, Olivia, give me a minute. What I want you to understand is that there is never a level of, there's, this no, there's no ceiling of knowledge, okay? Sometimes I learn from children simply because they are so transparent. There's no filter. They will say stuff because they see it and they're not afraid to share it. And because they share it, I pay more attention. See, if you know anything about me, I have my degree in social work, but I have my own nanny company. And so I work with kids all the time. And I learn from them. And what I have learned is that if you are quiet and you are still and you pay attention to your surroundings, you'll see things that you stopped as an adult paying attention to. See, you feel as though maybe if you work harder, you'll get more. If you work harder you get more but how many of us know people that have been working so hard and so hard and so hard and yet they never achieved a level of financial stability that they wanted so it's got to be more than just working hard it's got to be more those are the people that it's not that they weren't smart Oh God, no, they're very smart. 
but they were never given the opportunity or no one like a mentor was ever there to show them the direction they should take their strengths. And if they were to play to those strengths, they would be more successful than they could even fathom. And this is what a confident mindset is about. A confident mindset is not about, I'm the best. A confident mindset is about, I'm good at what I do. Is there a way that I can be better? And if there's a way that I can be better, how? That takes confidence because you're never, ever stuck. You never plateau. Also, when you are very, very confident, you never compete. There's no reason for you to compete. You are in your own race, in your own lane, doing your own thing and in the end it's only going to affect you so focus on that some people will try to deter you distract you and bring you out of where you are trying to be don't get distracted and it's okay some people were put here for that job. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? Sometimes people were put right where they are to see if you are really going to be diligent about your path. That is when you must take charge of your life and say, you know what? I'm not over here. I'm not over here. I'm right here and if you focus on right here you will go so much further for many years I was looking over here because I thought that if I did this then I could get further I did not realize that if I paid more attention to what I was doing if I focused on what I was doing, that I would get more experience in what I was doing. As I got more experience, I would get better. As I got better, I would learn more. As I learned more, I would become more confident. As I became more confident, I could share more. As I shared more, I could touch more people. Do you see where I'm going with this? Sometimes you think you need to go and take this class and take this class and take this class and take this class when maybe you're an expert with the exact knowledge that you have right now. But you're so busy downplaying how wonderful you are right now that you are missing out on your blessing and even worse you are not being available to be a blessing to others i don't want to seem like i'm preaching to you but i definitely want to teach you see i don't believe in trying to, you know, reach and, and try to make you feel in a way that I'm at a level that is above you because there are no levels as you can see right now. Can you see it? If not, look outside. There are no levels. We are one. We have always been one. We are are one this coronavirus did not say hey you have a phd so i'm gonna pass over your house 
this coronavirus did not say you are a millionaire, so I'm going to pass over your house. Nope. Not one time. Every single person has to do the exact same thing. Every single one of us. Okay? So now it's time for us to look at what we really, really know about ourselves. Don't be afraid to look in the mirror. It's so easy for us to look outwardly and say, this person should do this and this person should do that. When in reality, we should look inward. It took me a long time to figure that out, y'all. It took me a long time to figure that out. And I'm not ashamed to say that. The shame would be never to have learned it. That would be the problem. So, I just wanted to reach out to you guys. I do have a group. It's called Confident Mindset TV. In that group, what I do is I push out a bunch of posts. And I know you guys love the post. Thank you. And I'm also trying to grow my YouTube channel. It's brand new. Now, let me give you a little backstory on this. Yeah, girl. I hated social media. I'm saying it right now. What's up? I don't know what time it is right now. Somebody document it. Somebody say, I remember you told us on your live you hated social media. Yes. Hated it. Scared of it is what it was. Not hate. Fear. Fear of failure. Yes. Oh, and you guys, please, please, please. <laughs> Hi, Jalita, positive parent. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I, you have a beautiful group, please. If you guys see her, you can um, go ahead and type your group on here. And if you jumped on my live or if you see this on a replay and you have a group that you think that people would want to be a part of, please type it in this live. I have no problems with it. Type it in this live. Jolita Positive Parrot is one of the most crazy people in the world. She is so positive. She jumps on lives. And when I tell you transparency, <laughs> but it's so amazing that she was afraid to take her information from Facebook to YouTube and I was so confused as to why and she was explaining to me that she tried YouTube before and it was a failure so I'm gonna I'm glad you're actually on because I want to make understand this it was not a failure I'm talking to you directly Julita it was never a failure I try to help <laughs> as much as I can it was never a failure anytime that you try to do something there is some part of it that is a takeaway that you're going to need to the next time you attempt it but here's the problem if you never attempt it again then that is the failure when you say I'm just going to give up that is the failure but if you just keep trying then that one time that you viewed as a failure that's actually a stepping stone it's a stepping stone and you knew from that attempt it was something that you should not do again but had you not tried that you would not know that so don't always assume that if it doesn't go perfectly overnight that it is a failure we all know how many times it took for KFC to be approved by someone or for the light bulb to actually work. 
yet they're here. See, thoughts become things. Whatever's in your mind, it can happen. If someone tells you it can't, then that's the wrong person to listen to. Period. If you have it in your mind, if you feel it in your heart, it was put there for a reason. And you can be anything, anything you put your mind to. I promise you, there will always be naysayers. They will always be naysayers. They were put on this earth for a reason. <laughs> when is that going to happen, Chantal? Please let us know. There will always be naysayers. But when you have naysayers, why not use them as fuel? Okay? Don't use them as a deterrent. <laughs> Don't use them as a deterrent. Use them as the fuel to put behind you and say, you know what? They said I couldn't do it, so I will. They said I couldn't do it, so I shall. See, it's all right. Everybody's not going to believe in your vision. But the vision is inside. There's a big difference between sight and vision. They can't see it. The vision is yours. Everything. I want you to look around right now. Every single thing around you. Every single thing around you was a thought. What? Look. Watch this. Watch this. Watch. This right here? Look. Look at this. This was a thought. Someone said this is what people need. How come that next thought, how come that next vision, how come that next million dollar ideal, how come it can't come from you? How come? Who said? Why? Hey, Sean, who said? Nobody. You didn't hear it here. You didn't hear it from me. So as long as you have a vision, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Not when it happens, it's going to happen. I'm so glad. I'm so glad your confidence is higher. I'm so glad I caught your live. I'm so glad that we have connected. I try my best. When you inbox me, I try to answer. You guys, I try my best. I really do. Sean, what did you say? Exactly, I was just talking. Yes, Sean, please plug your information. We have some, a financial advisor on with us right now, Mr. Sean Phelps. Please, I need for you to type in your information if you need any type of financial expertise. This is your go-to. See, what I don't do is I don't push anybody down. Mm -mm. And I don't tell you, don't come on my live putting your information on my live. Don't be doing that. You could do whatever you want to do respectfully. As long as I know you're coming and I already established relationships with you guys. I've established relationships with a bunch of people. And I believe in you all. So, Sean, please, please, please. Make sure you put, just type it in right now, how people could get in contact with you. Sean is another person that sometimes he's on his live and I might say, hey, do this, do that. And you know what? He comes back, well, you know what? That's good. That worked. You know what? Awesome. And when you're looking at me, if you see something, thank you, that I should be doing, hit me and be like, girl, why don't you talk about this or why don't you talk about that there was someone earlier that asked me to dig deeper absolutely i will do that more on or in the group as well as on the youtube channel but 
you know what I did like is the fact that the person asked me and it was cool. See, that's, that's me. That's my energy. That's what it is. So when you hear people, because I don't really think people understand when they say, uh, come with that same energy. That's not where that originated, y'all. Nah. We are energy. We are energy. You get out. I mean, you, you get in exactly what you put out. We are one. We are this universe. We are one. And if this coronavirus has not brought it to your attention that that is the case, then I'm not quite sure what will. And I'm not getting ready to get into this whole, um, what can I say, religious vibe or anything like that. But when I tell everybody that I believe in God, okay, and they oh, I don't want to talk about no religion. I believe nothing you, I don't see. I don't see Corona. I believe it though. Get your life. Literally. Huh? I'm just going to sit here. I'm on I'm on way. Great information. <laughs> don't see you and your husband. You know what? I'm going to tell you about my husband. That is a humble man. He is not one to be online or anything like that. That's just not his thing. He is just not, just not that type of dude. It's funny. I think that's why we are together, Sean, is because I'm that outgoing spirit and he's that inward spirit and we kind of meet in the middle. And he can put up with my craziness. He can put up with all of my shenanigans and I put up with his shenanigans so it works out. But we are, <sighs> Lord, this deck, y'all. And if you've been following my timeline, ciao. And I'm dressed because I'm, I'm recording some stuff for the YouTube channel. But that deck, let me get back on. Let me get back on the deck, y'all. So yesterday, let me tell y'all about the deck. Yesterday, we were out there. That's my auntie. I hope she everything. Everything's all right. And I was out there sweeping up all of the, you know, dead leaves, and I found so many damn earthworms, and I was like, because hey. <laughs> I haven't, been, <laughs> I haven't been a soldier for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been out in the tent or anything like that. I mean, I watch Naked and Afraid, and I want to go on and all that type of stuff, but I'm saying not right now. Anyway, I was, you know, raking up the dead leaves and all that type of stuff. And, you know, I'm country, so, you know, I was putting them in the bag. And, baby, when the first earthworm jumped up, I had to get my life together. Just the first one, I was like, okay, hold up, Mr. Worm. Now, we in this together. So... <laughs> So, y'all don't be thinking your girl is scared of an earthworm because she ain't. Okay, because I, I, I ain't. But, <laughs> anyways, we're doing really good. We're taking it apart piece by piece, and then we're going to expand it. So, it's going to be wonderful. But, you know what I do appreciate is that we're working together on this thing, you know? And it's kind of like. I have to be kind of grateful because it's like we almost have transitioned to like a boyfriend girlfriend type situation and I'm like okay okay corona so I'm not praising corona please don't get it twisted but I do believe that in this time we need to be mindful and be grateful of all of the things that are actually coming as a, as a result of it. Does that make any sense? I hope so. You know, I, my neighbor, he's doing a lot of stuff around his yard. Um, anything that he doesn't have, we have and vice versa. And I, I think it's fantastic, you know, that it's a time where you get to see people. I see people in my cul-de-sac that 
I've never even seen before because of working. But it's like, wow, okay. You know, hey, how you doing? Okay, be safe. You know, of course, we're staying our distance and, you know, outside or what have you. But it's beautiful. It is. It really is. Hey, uncle. I think I saw your face. Another thing is, I'm spending more time with my dog. My dog is almost 100 pounds. And, uh, yeah, he's big. And we go for some extreme walks. But he can't keep up because your girl can walk. I mean, I can walk. And I think that happened because when we were little, I mean, transparency, yo, your girl, we were broke. We were broke. Okay, there's broke. There's levels of broke, y'all. And when I say broke, we was broke. I'm talking about no water okay so i've already experienced the depression see you can't you cannot be afraid if you have already been through a war this battle is nothing to me this battle is nothing to me because i've already been through a war guys that's why i can speak so honestly to you this too shall pass. My entire family has been through something. And I would like to say that most people have been through things. So not just my family, but I can only identify with my family right now. So let me get back to that. We were taught that you got to make it work. Basically, that's it. So figure it out. And that's what we're going to have to do. We don't necessarily have someone that is going to take us or provide for us. And you guys know who I'm speaking of. We don't have someone that is going to lead us the right way or provide us with the proper information. And you guys know who I'm speaking of. So in these times of uncertainty, we need to band together and work together and try to figure it out. So I say this all to say, I know that you've become very uh, comfortable in the jobs that you had prior to this. But this is the time that you must feel a level of, a level of not being comfortable. This is the time that you have to say, I can't get it from here. So I have to go over here. I want you to imagine that you are on your last morsel of food. What would you do? Now, I know that a lot of you care and love for your family. So learn a new skill. It's okay. It does not mean you failed. You did not fail the corona. So learning a new skill doesn't mean you, you created the corona. That means that you have made an adjustment in order to survive the corona. That's confidence. You can do this. Don't be afraid. If you are afraid, allow the fear to <laughs> hey uncle allow the fear to light a fire under you a fire so hot that you decide you know what i'm gonna last through this hey uncle thank you jesus you are going to be just fine and don't let anyone tell you differently if there's something that can provide you with some type of income and maybe it's not what you went to school for. But let me tell you something. Let me get on you real quick. Huh? Because now I'm about to go to you. You can have more degrees than a thermometer. What does it doing for you right now? So 
So if that job that all those degrees gave you is not sustaining your family environment right now, then take those same degrees. I want you to pivot your mindset. Pivot it. Turn it in another direction and say, this can be looked at from an entirely different perspective. I can make it. I can do this. Let me look over here. Let me look over here. Not for competition, but for some type of something. I don't care what it is, as long as it provides for you and yours. I want to tell everybody that I definitely appreciate everybody that joined the Confident Mindset TV group thus far. I mean, in less than a month, you guys are like, I'm like at 150 people in less than 30 days. That's crazy. That's cray cray. And the thing about the group is, it's not about just me putting out posts. I want everybody to put in posts, but only positive vibes. Only positive vibes. If you want to read memes that are degrading or anything like that, that's fine. Do that. I read it. I, well, I don't care. That has nothing to do with me. What you're reading on your private time is none of my business. What is my business is my group which is the Confident Mindset TV. And I just want you to come in and be surrounded by people who don't want to hear negativity all of the time. Two. And you're like, dang, that was one? <laughs> yeah, it was one. But two is going to be shorter. Two is, I want you to stay as informed as possible. Hey, Ma. How you doing? Love you. I want you to stay as informed as possible. At the same time, don't overconsume the news. This can contribute to so much anxiety. And the thing is, is that you keep hearing the same thing from hour to hour. So why do it to yourself? So I'm not saying don't watch the news. That's absolutely not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is watch it in, in proportions. Maybe watch it in the morning, maybe watch it in the afternoon. I wouldn't suggest watching it before bed because before you go to sleep, your mind is the most open. Hi, mommy. Hi, beautiful. I love you. Guys, that's my mom. So I don't want for you to get into this way of thinking that I got to watch the news. I got to watch every single minute of the news. That's not smart. That's not smart. What is smart is to stay informed. What is smart is to stay safe. What is smart is to make sure that you are not going out and being a part of the problem. That is smart. Okay. Because what you could be doing as opposed to watching the news, you could be taking a class. Yeah, it's all right to take a class. Ain't gonna kill you. And let me tell y'all something. How come many of you are not taking advantage of YouTube? YouTube University. And before you say, that's not a real place, lies you tell. Do you know how many people I have learned from by just watching YouTube? How many different things I have learned to do for my business by watching YouTube? Several things I had no idea. Let me tell you, let's get back to why I hated social media. Social media was something that I didn't understand. And so when we don't understand something, we say, oh, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
If you don't believe it, watch your history. Learn your history. See, people fear what they don't understand. As a African American woman, my ancestors were treated terribly because people didn't understand them simply because they had a different hue of skin. People fear what they don't understand. But women, let me, let me tell you this, fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So basically you're scared of something because it appears to be something. Does that even make sense? So that is what was happening to me. I was like, oh, I hate social media. I heard about everybody in their marriages breaking up as a result of social media. And I, heard, I had every excuse. Ooh, chow. Ooh, chow. Ooh, I had every excuse in the book. You didn't want, did you need a book of excuses? Because baby, I could write it. I had a book of excuses of why I should not learn social media. And I did not realize that as a result of not learning social media, as a result of not growing with the world, I was hurting me. I was hurting my business. False evidence appearing real, fear. There's so many people in this world. How many times have you worked under somebody and you knew, you knew you knew more than them, but because you were scared, because you were scared that they might, your friends might not like you to be their boss if you moved up, your friends may not care for you because you decided to grow you were scared to be better oh no we're gonna stop that we're gonna pay attention we're gonna grow we're gonna be better we're gonna be the best It's okay to be afraid. Now, if we are in situations, thank you, Jalita. If we are in situations where fear is necessary, that will be our fight or flight response. And it is necessary. So if you are in danger, this is why you don't just go to the top of a building and just walk off. This is why you don't do that. But, I want you to take that same fear and I want you to pivot that fear and I want you to move it towards social media. Does that make sense? So when it's necessary for you to utilize fear in a way that it is going to save your life, then common sense will kick in. I promise you that. Common sense will kick in but a fear of strengthening your mind, a fear of becoming your best self. So when you hear people say, I'm living my best life, maybe, maybe, but maybe not. See, there's lots of clothes, lots of uh, shoes, lots of makeup, lots of hair, lots of everything that we could have. And we could say we live in our best life. We live in our, hey, hey, okay. But now, those clothes, hair, shoes, now what? 
You still got them. But are you living your best life? Or are you fearful? And if you're fearful, what are you going to do about it? I say this all to say, use this time wisely. I know it's a scary time. You have every right to be afraid of the corona. You have every right to be afraid of the coronavirus. What you don't have a right to be afraid of is how valuable what's in here is and how far it will take you once the corona is a thing of the past. I want you to embrace how strong you actually are. I want you to hold on tight to how much you actually have to offer the world, but you've been sitting on your gifts. You've been sitting on your gifts. Excuse me. Don't sit on your gifts anymore. You have something to offer. You have something that someone else needs. You just don't know it. You might need to use Facebook Live or YouTube Live to reach somebody to hear what you have to say, but you never thought that anybody wanted to listen to you. But how could you say that no one wants to listen to you when you not met everybody in the world? Your vibe will attract your tribe. I promise you that. You don't have to go out searching for anybody. They will come. One thing I had looked at is um, some of the stuff that I write down. I, I, I write down a lot of things. I write down my thoughts. And I was thinking about when I was a little kid, I would draw pictures of what I thought a neighborhood should look like. It was never a neighborhood that I lived in or a house that I lived in or, or anything like that. But it was in my mind that that's what I wanted. That's what I thought it should look like. <laughs> Thank you. I was um walking my dog and I was coming back to my house and I was noticing the shape of the house. Now, mind you, I was a small child. And let me tell y'all, I can't draw. But when I was noticing the shape of the house, that was the house. That was it. The house where I am is the house that I drew as a child. Not perfectly drawn, of course, but the house all the same. The windows, the shape, even the freaking little cars out front. <laughs> I never thought it would come to fruition because I never had the mindset that it could. But God, huh? Then one day my mindset changed. See, when you can have a paradigm shift, if you don't know what a paradigm shift is, it is basically when you are where you are with the exact same things that you have right now, with the exact knowledge that you have right now, but you as a person, you inside start to change and start to see things completely different, completely different. A lot of us say, oh, I, I, I'll never get to spend time with my spouse. I never get to see my kids. I'm always working too much. But God. I 
wish I could telecommute. I wish I could work from home. But God. Think. Look. Listen. I want you all to be safe. And I want you just to understand. This can be a gift or this can be a curse. It's all in how you look at it. I am saddened deeply by the loss of the number of people that not only the USA has lost, but the world. But I have no control over our losses. What I do have control of is how I handle what's going on with me during this time. How can I be, thank you, of service? How can I help? And if it means just coming on and encouraging others, then that's what I'm gonna do. And of course, I'm gonna get people who are saying, well, you're not qualified, qualified to do what? qualified to encourage a child can do that so never ever ever let anyone deter you from your vision never let anyone deter you from your gifts the richest place on the planet the cemetery because many people had hidden gifts that they took with them because someone told them that their dream, that their vision wasn't possible. So it was pushed down and it was never, ever allowed to come to fruition. But I'm here to tell you, you can do it. Whatever it is, you can do it. You put your faith in that thing, and I mean you make it happen. And I mean you focus on it, and you focus on it so much so that it gives you a headache. And you go to sleep, and you wake up, and you focus on it some more. And I promise, it will happen. Everybody that you see that's successful, they didn't go to sleep and wake up successful. No, it didn't happen that way. They had to put in work. So that's why you hear people say, oh, you, you clout chasing. The reason they're saying that is because they did the work for the clout that they have and you come in thinking you can just jump on board. Well, lies, you tell. Do your own work. Do your homework. You can have that clout all by yourself. And it's going to be so much sweeter because it's yours. There's nobody that can take that from you because you earned it. I'm going to get off. But, uh... I'm out.